All foreign registered vehicles entering Malaysia from Singapore by land will be required to use a vehicle entry permit VEPE from October 1, 2024. This will apply to motorists entering both Johor's checkpoints at the Sultan Iskandar Building and Sultan Abu Bakar Complex via the Causeway and Second Link respectively. Said Malaysia's Transport Minister Anthony Loke at a press conference in Putrajaya on May 28. The VEP, renewable every five years, was announced in 2017. The scheme was intended to determine the number of foreign vehicles entering Malaysia and to prevent car theft and deter car cloning syndicates. In April 2019, the Malaysian government announced that it would enforce mandatory registration for foreign vehicles entering from Singapore starting from October 1. But in October 2019, Mr. Loke said the enforcement would be postponed due to issues with the installation of the RFID, referring to the radio frequency identification tag required for the VEP. In January 2020, he reiterated that the system would be on hold as his ministry worked on finding a way to make it easier for vehicles from Singapore to register for the tag. According to Malaysia's Road Transport Department JPJ website, motorists can sign up online to register details of their vehicle, owner and driver. Car owners can also appoint a representative to register on their behalf. After the information is verified, registrants will receive a confirmation email, which they can use to present a designated VEP collection counters in Johor Bahru to get their VEP RFID tax. The processing fee of the tag is RM10 to Singapore dollars. 90. A road charge of RM20 is currently imposed on foreign registered private cars each time they enter Malaysia. Motorcyclists are exempt from the road charge.